Okay, I'll start this with saying I am not what you call a handgun guy. They don't really excite me. Don't really do it for me. I like things with more, more, more bang and more reach, and just they're more exciting to me. Rifles and shotguns, but a handgun, I will admit, is your most practical and most likely weapon to use for self-defense or defense of someone else. And so it's necessary to have one on you at all times. And so that steers me towards the concealed carry market. Um, today I decided I'm going to get myself another concealed carry gun. And briefly, the ones I've owned in the past, there's been a variety, see what I can remember. Uh, Taurus Judge, Public Defender, hated that thing. Um, a car, 9mm, and a car, 40 and they were okay. And then I got the Shield in 40 and also in 9mm. I liked that a lot. Got the Glock 43. I really liked that one. Then I got the Glock 19, also the Glock 23. And I really liked the Glock 19. And I had several of those, and that was probably my favorite. But it was still on the big end of what people would use as a concealed carry gun. And so then I was looking today, I went into the gun stores to look at a Glock 26 because it's smaller, but it still takes the big magazines, including the big 33 rounder, which I've already got those. So I was going to go look at the Glock 26 and I had the guy lay out several guns. He had the 43, he had the 26, uh, shield, and I've had all those. I even had a XD subcompact at one point. I even owned a couple high points, but anyway, back to the topic, get to the point here. He laid down the Sig Sauer P356, and I put it in my hand, and right away it just it just fit me. It just felt fantastic in my hand, and so I kind of steered away from the others, and this is the box right here, so you can see what choice I did make. Obviously, I bought it as an impulse buy. I haven't researched them at all, so hopefully I made a good choice. This is what the box comes in with, you know, advertisement sticker, a really good manual, the lock stop and read but to my shock it came with an ATF you know, protecting the public and serving our nation garbage and it's like a warning about the misuse of handguns a leading contributor to whatever juvenile violence and I mean from the ATF inside of a gun box no business in there most guns I buy have uh, NRA stuff which anymore nowadays I don't even know that that belongs in there anyway so I was looking through the manual and it's your basic stuff, but it's better than... I mean, you don't have to go to YouTube or stuff to watch it now. Um, this is kind of neat. I'm a left-handed shooter. you got a magazine recast, or catch reversal, so you can flip it over. Although, I've just trained myself to drop the mag out like that, so I'm going to keep it at it as is. But here's my little miniature review of it. So it comes with, you know... Like I said, at first I put it in my hand, and I'm like, that feels really good. I saw the metal trigger, the grip texture, just the shape of it just felt really good in my hand. You can put a light on there, I assume. And and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's got night sights already on it. It's fantastic. And then, to really seal the deal, it's a 10 round double stack magazine in a tiny little gun the size of a, you know, your Shield 43 size of guns. Tiny little sucker. Pocket gun if you roll that way. Anyway, in a 10 round magazine. And another 10 round magazine. And you can get 12 round magazines for it. But that's what it comes with. I think it looks like a really fantastic gun that I'm going to keep. And, uh, you know, while I'm filming, I'm going to do a quick takedown of it. Should be like any other gun. So, or of that type anyway. You know, Glocks, you have to pull the trigger and stuff. But So you lock it to the back, rotate that till it stops, rotate it clockwise pull it back forward comes off the slide recoil spring the barrel pretty straightforward put it back together simply reverse what you just did put it back on looks like that moved so what is that put that back so this portion is flat again so it'll go on the slide Which it did, lock it to the back again. I'm gonna slip forward already on my own. I'm supposed to lock it to the back, 
and then rotate that back, but I must have bumped it because I'm left-handed and it just sent it back. Do a function check. Trigger resets. So the Sig Sauer P356. I think I'm gonna like this little handgun. 